is beautiful Whenever I am where you are Erika, let's go! Bye bye Shenzhen Airport Hi Erika Our driver just picked us up and we're gonna go to the car now It's so hot and humid in Shenzhen. Electricity charging stations everywhere in China nowadays. BID, car room. Here, this is our room. Next few days. And let's see what's outside. Good morning! This is our first day in Shenzhen. My voice is still pretty broken, but we're gonna start with taking a little uh, train ride around the hotel. Shipbats, we're going! Oh, so many fish. There's a big indoor pool here. Finish the train ride. I'm gonna go check out the rest of the hotel. <laughs> ah, thank you. This is a Spanish themed hotel. So we're at their kids club now in the hotel and then we're gonna go check out the outdoor which is open to all hotel guests. Let's go check it out. I want to go there. Okay, let's go check it out. So these are the different zones and different themes. Oh, good. Be careful, okay? They also have the free merry-go-around. You pick this? Is that a bird?
It's a holiday weekend in China, so so many people here today. So as usual, whenever we come to China, we come and get a cup of coffee, even though this is from Tokyo. You can never drink in Tokyo. I see the train. Spread it close and spread it wide. Spread it round the countryside. We just got into the Paw Patrol land. Make the most of each and every day. We're here to check out amusement park for Erica. It's called the Window of the World. It's basically a miniature buildings of all the signature buildings around the world. And we're trying to see if we can ride that little floating car here. So it seems like in China you can order drinks or food 
and then they will use a drone to deliver for you. It's really cool. <laughs> so we just got onto the restaurant floor now. Uh, we're gonna go for our favorite noodle shop. It's really cheap but really delicious. So here it is. Favorite noodle shop in China. traditional signature noodles and also the white noodle. These are the small dishes that go with me. Giant bear there too, Erica. Wow, so pretty here, huh? So many butterflies. Wow, this shopping mall is so pretty. Ah, go to Mario. This is our last day at the Intercontinental Shenzhen. Uh, let me quickly show you guys what the breakfast look like here. First of all, let me start with the fruit juice bar and also yogurt. Many different flavors of yogurt looks really good. I tried the right date yogurt the other day. It's really interesting. And they also have all these different smoothies as well as you can pick any fruit you want and they will actually mix the juice for you here live. I made a pineapple juice yesterday. The watermelon looks really good too. And some today. And here this is where they're making fresh juice. All you need to do is to put the fruits in the basket and they will squeeze it for you. This is a salad bar. Some ham and cheese. Some bread. There's bread on the other side too. There's sandwiches. Sushi. And there's some uh, meat here. And from here, these are the hot stations. So there's the tea boiled egg, the regular boiled egg. These are some regular hot dishes, Chinese dishes. Well, they have the fried noodles pretty good today. Pork fried noodles and fried rice. And there's a live uh, noodle bar where you can make your order uh, noodles here. We have like different toppings here. And this is the egg station. So. They have egg benedict and fried egg. The Spanish bar and they have uh, gyoza. And uh, these are my favorite. Oh, it seems like we're running out of one thing here. There we go. And they have the meat bun and the, the sweet bun here. There's some more vegetables here. And bacon and sausage and egg. And these are the tofu. 
tofu where you can put the toppings, it can be sweet or uh, salty. And then this is the okayu, the porridge area. So they have all kinds of different porridge here and as well as soy milk. And finally, this is the bread station. It's a pretty good variety of different kinds of bread. I already tried several this week, but there's still so many I haven't get to try. And finally, this is like tea and coffee station. Here they have some hot tea, um, as well as some cold tea here, or Chinese tea. And there's a display of the various tea leaves. are already made iced teas and finally they have a coffee and if you just need cappuccino or black coffee it's already pre-made here for you you can also make whatever you want by yourself overall it's pretty good i think the selections are pretty pretty impressive oh yeah and there's some dessert which we haven't really tried but it's pretty good Good morning. We just arrived at another hotel, JW Marriott. Looks much more modern than the uh, Intercontinental. This one was built in 2008, I think. Hi, Erica. What are you looking for? Looking for books? We can go find some for you later. Times okay? we're together, I hold in my heart. And then this could last forever. I knew from the start, I knew. Just wanna be but what I like you. the most about this place is the view. You get this. I think it's gonna look really pretty at night. Hold your There's hand the when the waves get high. We'll check again at night. We just got out from the hotel and came to the harbor side. There's a really cool kids' playground. Erica is now gonna challenge the huge slide here. Which one are you gonna pick? Okay. <laughs> it's pretty slow. <laughs> It's not so slippery. We're gonna go check out the Ferris wheel. Hopefully, we can ride it. There we go. That's it. Yeah, it's there. I just got on to the second floor. Another team like area these are all the giant ferris wheel in the world <laughs> this is so cool this is like a super giant one that's so pretty here okay, we're gonna go up now are you ready okay hi erica how do you feel are you just got out from the Ferris wheel. That was a fun ride. We go, we're gonna go check out a little bit more about the shopping mall. And I think we're gonna do a little fountain show later today. This is a bookstore called Zhong Shu Ge. Their design looks really unique. 
these are all printed on the wall. That looks like real books. Never seen a bookstore like this. Wow. Yeah, really cool bookstore. So if you ever come to Shenzhen, definitely recommend to check this out. Never